What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel Total Technology this is tutorial 25 and today's topic is bullets within report lab so what is bullet and how to use that I will explain that so bullet is actually kind of um, I can I cannot explain this thing so this is called bullet this is called bullet so all of you now familiar with bullet guys like some point of time within our career or college project we all use what is bullet so uh, so report lab there are two ways of creating or implementing or inserting bullet one is using paragraph plus bullet text argument and another one is using bullet tag so first thing is using bullet text argument so i'll open eclipse and let me just write this thing from report lab dot let pass import a uh, simple doc template and another one is paragraph class so this one so next is from report lab dot leap dot styles and we'll use get sample style sheet okay so now i will create one pdf document object for doing that simple doc template and just because our tutorial is 25 i will give it as tutorial tutorial 25.pdf as name okay so next i'll create one flow object and this is definitely blank we'll create one styles so this is going to be uh, let's say get sample style sheet okay so everything is done so what i'll do now i'll just create one text or uh, okay text okay so like this text is going to be let's write this thing okay so this is with bullet okay and now what will happen let's underscore p text is going to be para graph paragraph and then text then style equals to styl styles the normal style as we all familiar with this thing now because we are doing this for last 10 or 20 tutorial i'm not sure how much and then as i told you we'll, we'll be using bullet text argument bullet text and this is going to be let's say star okay it's done so now we'll append this thing flow object dot append is going to p underscore text and let's let's do this thing so what will happen now for i in range 4 like this and at the end let's do this like pdf dot build equals to flow object so let's run this thing so terminated so there will be one file let me refresh this thing as just, just because this is eclipse we need to refresh this thing see this is how it is okay so we can create other as well like this whatever you want you can give it see this is called bullet okay see there is a nice looking space around this so this is how it is this is one way of doing it so what we'll do i'll just take a copy paste of this thing and we'll put it here okay and next using bullet tag okay so this is going to be very simple so what i'll do so i'll not be going to use this thing just remove this thing for this part okay rather doing this thing what i'll do i will just use bullet ampersand 
bull bullet so now see what, what happened over here let's see see this is also giving like this one is giving so if you want to create some sort of font over here so font name equals to Helvetica okay and color equals to red and size equals to let's say 15 like this and what I'll do I'll just create the closing tag for font so let's see now what is happening now okay vertica v t i probably there should be one t it's done see so this looks nice okay so what else is possible i'm just thinking uh, mm, i think this is complete almost nothing else is required so we covered everything like we have seen how to create like let me just decrease the size a bit okay fine so we have seen how to create bullet using bullet text argument like this one okay this bullet text argument and here we are actually uh, doing this thing using this bullet tag where is the tag actually i just forgot okay this one so let me just take a copy paste of this thing and i'll put it over here so if someone is watching the video at the latter part then or or, or like maybe in the future if someone was watching this video can easily get a reference of the source code and all but don't worry guys i'll definitely upload the source code in the github repository as well so either way you can learn it so only one thing humble request or recommendation guys please try to do some sort of practice or else this doesn't make any sense if if you think that you were watching my videos regularly then you will learn no you have to write your own code you have to take a pen and paper you have to grab your notebook laptop whatever you have to start writing your code start doing some sort of design for your pdf just play around with it if you get some sort of error take a help from stack overflow or you can ask me definitely i'll try to help but i'm not sure whether i'll be able to do it immediately or not but definitely will get an response so that is the one thing you have to start doing your practice so that's it enough of talking so we'll create another video as i told you the some advanced topic within sequential template sequence template like just because in the last video you have seen sequence id gives the template or the numbering starts from one but if you need something like 001 002 001.1 kind of a thing then how to do that so we'll do it later so that's it guys that's all for today hope to see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and those are watching our channel for the first time or this video for the first time and haven't subscribed yet so please subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon provide some sort of feedback comment suggestion complaint whatever you have you can communicate with me and special thanks to the one uh, those actually uh, like purchase this course from udemy and thanks for guys thanks for enrolling my course this is actually helping me a lot to create another like uh, video like this i'm actually getting myself motivated towards creating new content so thank you very much and if you have any question demand please use udemy uh, community message box i will definitely try to answer all your queries so that's all guys that's all for today hope to see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice this is not a weekend but probably today is christmas eve so wishing you a new year ahead and hopefully in 2020 we'll learn some new topics as well so that's all guys hope to see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day